Immortal George back again. Slight twist to what we did last time. Last time, we had unlimited health. But now we'll have unlimited cooldown cycling, which will make us do a lot of damage. Let's check it out. Let me just pull this off, because I forgot to take this off. And everything else should be off. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a person with a sharp weapon. We're going to have Swift Retribution. I'm also going to have other cards in there like Natural Leader. You don't have to use Natural Leader. You can use whatever else you want. We're also going to be having Sashimi. We're going to be having Power Strike. You don't need to use Power Strike. And we're going to be using Quick Learner and Multiple Solutions. So what this will allow us to do is always use Quick Learner on multiple solutions or Swift Retribution, and you'll be able to cycle your cooldowns very, very quickly. If this procs the 40% chance to draw a second copy, this will reduce everything by 15 turns, which gets you your Quick Learner back. That in combination with a Swift Retribution should ensure that you get cooldowns every three to four, maybe every two turns even. I will be using Nobu here as my sharp user. Generally speaking, I would like my Commando to have a sharp weapon and use flanking maneuver with this because that would be just the bee's knees. And you also want to use Buzzsaw. But unfortunately, I have three reputation left, so I can't test it right now. But enough of me jibber jabbering. Let's get into it. Try not to die, okay? It'll be just a bit slow to start off here because I have to start putting all my guys into play. But once I get them into play, it should start speeding up considerably. Alright, we already have some of the stuff we need. And I also, unfortunately, don't have a shotgun for my Enforcer, so I'm kind of sad about that. I think I, I sold it for money. Have to rely on a little bit of luck to get our card draws in. That's why I want to, I try to use the build with a lot less cards, with like think that six max, so we don't run into a situation where um you have a bunch of junk cards that you don't need. But for the most part, that's not really an issue. And I do have three people with the little repair thingy for pliers. You can never have too many pliers. And there we go, we have the combo already. So we'll put a sashimi up on him. Now we use a... Let's look at our cooldowns first here. So we have 8, 22, 17, 18. There you go. So we'll pop the tactical solutions. Pop the quick learner. Pop that. Pop that. And then there's our cooldowns. Swift Retribution is already down to seven turns. I'd say that's pretty good. We just took all our cooldowns off the board. And now Nobu has one stack of sashimi already. Poor Nick, just getting punched in the face. And we already have our quick learner and multiple solutions back again. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab and pick up quick learner here. 
then that's so we start the cooldown with Swift Retribution, which we're going to be using later on in this turn. So for now, we'll give Nobu another stack of that. We'll say, Nobu, go crazy with Power Strike. You've earned it. I believe he's earned that kill quite well. Then we're going to hold on to this tactician. We're not going to use it. I almost accidentally clicked it. I forgot to attack with Nobu. We're going to ignore that. Alright, there we go. We got multiple solutions again. We already have our Swift Retribution again. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in our hand. There's our cooldowns on it, and it's going to disappear. We'll hold on to the second one so we can use a Swift Retribution this turn. But look at our cooldowns already. Isn't that just delicious to look at? And now, Nobu, do your thing. And you might be wondering why I'm using this with just sashimi instead of like spike trap. I mean, there is no reason. You can use spike trap if you want to. Go for it. I'm kind of just showing this, showing this off in kind of a, a more simple manner. That's all. But like I said, you do want to limit yourself to six, six cards so you can get them all in your draw pool. And there's our sashimi already, and we have another multiple solutions. I'm gonna go ahead and grab natural leader, so I can get just a bit more buffing out of our stuff right now. So we'll throw this on him. We'll buff up with natural leader. And then we'll, we'll just, let's see. We have everything we need, so we can hold on to this just for another turn. And then we'll give this to him. Another way to do this combo that I wish I could do, but I can't at this moment, is the retaliation combo. All right, we got multiple solutions, and we got... We don't need to pick this one up because we already have one, so we'll pick up Power Strike and Quick Learner. And now we'll go ahead and pop the Tactician, Double Tactician, and then look at our cooldowns. Bam. Nice cooldown list. We'll kill this one off first. And Nobu, kill. Double kill. There we go, we got some more beefy cards. We'll use this and then this. Just what I needed. What do we want to kill, though? You. Probably should kill this one, because this one looks very, very scary. Pick our cooldowns here. Everything looks like it's on par with what we need, so we'll just go ahead and throw this. Ooh. 
All right, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. who's the strongest? You. But will I be able to kill you? Uh, probably not, but whatever. Huh. I cannot attack with him. Does he not have stamina? Interesting. Well, I mean, I tried to attack with you, but you didn't want to listen. And now he's going to pay the price for it. And now Nick's paying the price for it. Are you happy with yourself, Dern? Check our cooldown list. 15, 7, 19, 11, and 13. There you go. Now, who is the strongest? You. Hey, he can attack now. Wonderful. I would like to heal Dern next turn. Although I suppose he could just auto heal himself. Ouch. And we'll go ahead and pop a heal on him just to be sure. Hey, good luck. Alright, and you look dangerous. There we go. Look at him, he's so proud of himself. I'm proud of him, too. And of course, you can spread the love to your other people with uh, sashimi stacks. with him first then we will enforce for him mm. and then we will go ahead and tactician so now if we draw it next turn it'll use our I mean, keep calling it tactician multiple solutions because if we do it again next turn with the quick learner it'll use that card specifically then. Extra health? How terrible. That's a lot of health. But he has a gas can, so shouldn't be a problem. So for attribution, don't mind if I do. Who wants to die? You. Are you? Are you? Hmm. And then you look like you want to die. Right, I'm gonna need you to uh, pop this turn. Hey. That is also a lot of health on those guys. But that's fine, I do have my dogs with me, just in case. There's a sashimi. There's also a quick learner. I believe the last thing you would play was multiple solutions. Oh, we play a Switch Retribution. Eh, same thing. Alright. And you get started on this one. And... 
this one. It's over for you. Start on you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just throw this on the big guy now. And this other big guy over here. So like I said, normally you would put, use it on your commando with his flame blades, so you would be able to... Uh, hurt people with fire. Well, look at that. Well, let's see if we can kill this one first. Excellent. Slap him, Nobu. Take a look at our little cooldowns. Everything's basically off cooldown again. So Shimmy's already back down to two turns of Swift Retribution, which we just picked up, like, what, last turn? He's already down to four. Pretty good. There we go. Power strike, 19 turns, 15, 19. And that's the power of the build. I could have copied the power strike, of course. Alright, if you guys liked the video, like it, please subscribe, it would help me out, and uh, let me know what you think of the build in the comments. That's all.